This is the 90 page zero KC plan. It ranges from emergency shelters to affordable housing to job placement and city leaders say it's going to be a collaborative effort to get this plan into action. The visible camps at City Hall and Westport are gone, but the reality of homelessness in Kansas City remains. COVID certainly sped it up, but there's a lot of different stories and each one's a little different. Charles Copeland started visiting with the houseless community during the pandemic and came to City Hall Thursday to hear the city's zero KC plan to end homelessness. The people that want help are there. There's, there's immediate needs that can be uh, served. The plan lays out priority projects from low barrier emergency shelters with less restrictions to more outreach at homeless camps. The plan also tackles the ongoing issue of affordable housing by exploring federal funding opportunities and state and local incentives for developers. We needed to make sure that we were having housing first solutions to homelessness. We needed to make sure that we were thinking about people in terms of how do we meet them with services, how do we meet them with job opportunities. While funding and implementation of the plan are a work in progress, city leaders say it's not about finding a temporary fix. But instead in finding solutions that build better lives, better careers, better opportunities, and better outcomes. For Copeland, it's a step in the right direction. I like that it's on the front page, I'm, that it's being talked about. It gives me hope. Emily Holwick, KMBC 9 News. City Council will need to approve the Zero KC plan, and then they'll put together a team to implement it. The city will hold three public listening sessions, and you can find more information at kcmo.gov housing.